Group out here this evening repeated the calls for the Bel Air baseball coaches to be fired for not doing anything to stop their players from allegedly making remarks about monkeys and bananas at the game. The head coach Nick Ozuna has been instructed not to talk about this while the investigation is ongoing, but I did speak with his attorneys. They say they believe things have been taken out of context and once cooler heads prevail, the coaches will be cleared. I agree that there should be disciplinary action from the district uh, to the coach and to the assistant coach because that is not the example that we need to set. I want to speak to people that look like me. You cannot tolerate this. State representatives stand shoulder to shoulder with community leaders and parents demanding that HISD and Bel Air baseball head coach Nick Azuna and assistant coach Robert Manuel's contracts. I hope and pray that, uh, that not only my son receives justice, but all of these children receive justice. Erica Rohn previously spoke with ABC 13 about pulling her son off the Bel Air baseball team. She says Coach Zuna wouldn't let him play because of his Afro hairstyle. The district is now taking a second look into those claims as they investigate what happened at the Bel Air Westbury game just a couple of months later. The school this could have and should have done more than just give them a slap on the wrist. They always sweep things under the rug. So yes, we do want this racist fired. Attorneys for Azuna have consistently denied accusations of racism. They also disagree with what Westbury parents say happened at the game, though they would not go into further detail, citing the investigation. Part of a statement reads, quote, We are confident that the investigation will clear Coach Azuna and he will be able to rejoin his school and team soon for the conclusion of district play and the playoffs. Trustees could not comment on this matter at Thursday's board meeting because it wasn't on the agenda, but a HISD spokesperson says the investigation is ongoing and the staff of those involved hasn't changed. The coaches are currently working at other schools pending the result of the investigation. Attorney Kevin Murray says that doesn't go far enough. Ultimately, the extreme and outrageous conduct of the Bel Air, of the Bel Air players, of the Bel Air coaches, of everyone involved in these discriminatory acts are under investigation and they will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. He says federal claims and civil action are on the table as activists focus on the coaches firing and parents defend their players. In Houston, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.